Now, in this lesson, we'll see how we can add a shake, a, a, like a natural shake to a camera. So, if you will see the animation that I have is basically a regular animation, which shows me, uh, which which actually shows like a, there is a rotation, which looks more mechanical. It doesn't look more natural like a handheld shot. But if we want a handheld effect, how we can do that? To do, we have to go into your uh, content drawer, go to the content, create a new folder, and I will call this new folder Blueprints. And inside that folder, I will right click again and I will, uh, and you will see here there is a Blueprint class. Choose this Blueprint class and then here you have different classes presets. I don't want any preset. I, I want to choose my own, which is a camera shake base. So I will type here camera shake and you will see there is a camera shake base. This is what we are interested in right now. So I will click on it, press select, and I will get this. And I will rename it to cam shake, something like that. And you can see it is created here. I will double click on it. And you can see, let me dock it here somewhere. And here you will see I have uh, an even graph, which I don't actually want to use right now. Uh, if you want, you can create anything here, but you don't need this part. This is what we are interested in right now. Now, by default, I don't have any root shake pattern. The camera shake uses a root shake pattern. There is none here. The one that usually uh, is a commonly used is if you click here, is the Perlin noise. There are a couple of more, but usually we use Perlin noise. Others you can check on your own, but we will use Perlin noise here. As I will add it here, you will see it will give you location, rotation, and field of view and timing. Now, the first thing first is the timing. If you will go in the timing, you will see the duration is one second. And I don't want it to appear only... Uh, on a one second click, I want this camera shake to be completely from the starting till the end or whatever uh, I want. So I want the complete control in my hand. So what I will do instead of making it uh, like uh, keeping it one, I will change it to zero. Zero means infinite. It will be from starting till end or whatever range you want. So that's what I will do. I will keep it duration. Now I will press compile and I will press save, and I will go to my interior. Wherever I have the camera, this is my camera, I will press this uh, track plus track here. And here you will see there is a camera shake option. If you will go there, you will see automatically see there is a blueprint which we made just now, camera shake. I will just click on it, and it will add this yellow sort of a bar, which you can increase till the end. So that's why I kept it zero, so we can cover this up. Now, if I will play, uh, play this animation, so you can see there is a little bit uh, shakiness to it. Okay. And what if you want to control this shakiness? You can go back to your camera shake. And let's close this timing and go to the location. Now, in the location, you will see there is XYZ for all the axes, but here we have location amplitude and location frequency. Now, what is amplitude? Amplitude means how much you want the camera to move. Right now, it is 1. So, if I will make this 10, okay, it will move a lot. And then I have here location frequency. That means how frequent you want the camera to move. Right now it is one, so I will keep it at one. Let's compile and save it and see. Now you can see that it is shaking like crazy. Like uh, suppose we, uh, this whole thing is in a ship. It looks like that. Unnatural. Okay. So plus frequency. It wasn't shaking uh, like frequently, but if I will change it to maybe 10 as well, and let's see what happens. And go here. Now let's see. So you can see it's more, it looks like an earthquake. Okay. 
because it is moving a lot uh, like uh, you can say uh, with the high magnitude and also it is moving a lot because the frequency is higher. So we have to keep these things as natural as possible. So idea here is that you keep the frequency little lower and the amplitude even little more lower. But if you want a handheld shot, so when we are recording from our cameras, like from mobile phone or from a camera that which is in our hand, our hand doesn't move uh, its location a lot, like our uh, location of the hand doesn't move or the location of the camera doesn't move a lot, the rotation moves. So that means we should focus more on rotation rather than focusing more on location. So maybe the location amplitude, I will keep it very sl uh, slight. Maybe I can make it 0, uh, 0 0.05 uh, like five. and location frequency, I will keep it uh, maybe one. Okay, so that's Oh, fine, very mild. Okay, now if I will go to the rotation, the rotation at this point is zero. What if I change it to 10 just to show you? Compile, save, and then play. So you can see it is rotating a lot. Okay, which is basically uh, kind of unrealistic, but Let's change it uh, to something else. Like suppose if I will, uh, let's see here we have, uh, just like in location, we have X, Y, Z. Here we have pitch, yaw, and roll. Now we can, uh, and, uh, like we can control them separately as well, or we can rotate them, or all, all together from here. So pitch is basically when the camera is, uh, you know, uh, rotating or tilting up or up and down. Yaw is basically if it is uh, rotating left or right. Roll is maybe uh, like when it is rolling, like you know, uh, and just like in like like the front. Usually, uh, our hand doesn't roll a lot when we are uh, recording. So what I will do is that like like when we are recording through a camera or uh, like mobile camera or any other camera. So our hand doesn't roll a lot, okay? So what is uh, the roll? It is, let's 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 do one thing. Let's uh, make this one. And let's make the roll a little high, compile, save, just to show you what the roll is. So if I will play this, so you can see, this is basically roll. So this is now rolling your camera. Okay, so that's what the roll is. So our hand doesn't roll a lot. So we will keep this very low, maybe 0 0.5. Rest I will keep it as I want. Okay, I hope pitch and uh, yaw is clear to you because I explained this in the cam uh, in the camera rig exercise. Uh, you can go to that lesson, camera rig uh, lesson, and you will, uh, I have explained there. Now here in the rotation amplitude, I will change this one to suppose 0 0.5, something like that. But I want the frequency to be a little higher. So this is a, a good, uh, you can say, a cooking method of a camera shake. Lower uh, magnitude and a little higher frequency. So this is how I will do that. Uh, compile, save. You know, if I press this. So now this looks kind of natural, like, uh, like a natural handheld shot. Okay, so this is how you will get a natural handheld shot when you are working on the, uh, the rotation, uh, you can say, uh, shake. Okay, now apart from that, we have field of view. I don't use it a lot, let's, but just to show you what does it do, let's make this 10, compile and save, and let's see what the um, field of view do. It zooms in and zooms out basically. So you can see it is zooming in and zooming out. Okay. So I don't use it a lot, but what if you want to do that? It's totally up to you. Okay. So maybe, maybe I will change it to 0.5. That's all. Save. Okay. So now I have more uh, of a handheld shot. So I hope this camera shake ex uh, exercise is uh, lesson is clear to you and you can now work on any sort of a camera shake and you can add them in your 
sequence. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now and don't forget to hit the bell icon. By the way, I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos without subscribing. So let's change that. Subscribe to my channel and be the part of the interactive community. Now, here's something really important I want to talk about. Please do not download my videos, just watch them online. When you download them, it messes up my watch time hours. And that's a bummer. I want to keep creating awesome videos, but it's demotivating when I lose out on those stats. Thanks a bunch for your support. You guys rock. Catch you all in the next video.